I meet lots of interesting people who I want to help, and the best way for me to give back is to quickly share who they're helping professionally and who they wish they could privately or philanthropically help more. And I help you by keeping the interviews short and sweet. People in my circle can pick and choose who to directly and indirectly help with their business or charitable contributions. Who are you helping? Don't forget to subscribe or follow me on YouTube and TikTok so that they start paying me to do more interviews like these. Let's get started. Hey, how's it going? I'm Dan Fradenberg, and this is for Who Are You Helping? Today, I'm joined with Jeffrey Pollock. He also has Yona in his uh, in parentheses in the middle. How are you doing today, Jeffrey? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you this morning, Dan? I'm fantastic because my very favorite audience member is joining me today. And why is my favorite audience member joining me today? It's because this is a Who Are You Helping? And in Who Are You Helping? I, unlike normally, and normally I'm interviewing commercial real estate syndicators, buyers, sellers, all that kind of stuff. And the reason why I do that, that's for legal compliance because uh, most of the private deals that are out there, you're not legally allowed to share them unless you have a prior substantive relationship. But sometimes people appear in my circle and and I'm like, I want to know exactly what it is that you do. And I'm confident that my syndicators in my circle, they also want to know. So, so first, Jeffrey, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. I'll give you a little bit about myself, a little background here. So I grew up in Detroit, in suburban Detroit. Um, I had a number of friends in the food service industry, or really their parents were in the food service industry. I didn't listen to their suggestions and got into the business because I thought it was cool. Uh, yeah, I guess I should have listened then. You know, you know what they say about how how it's amazing how smart our parents get as we get old. God, as we get older, well, go figure. Anyways, <laughs> long story short, I was in the food service world for almost ten years. Um, my wife finally said, "You know, you got to be home for the family at this point." I have two young kids at home, and it was time to find something else. So I was approached by a number of insurance brokers and some mortgage brokers, and so on and so forth. And I just wasn't sold on it. Yeah, I could sell the product, I'm sure, but it was just why, what sets those, you know, one broker apart from the next? So the answer to that question was, generally speaking, relatively nothing. Um, then I came across some ads looking for a GParency for people, and their product is just so unique that I said, this is this is the way to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. So uh, let's get it right into that. The first question I always ask in, in these interviews is, uh, who do you help professionally? And like from a marketing perspective, that's actually much more of a challenge for a lot of people than you think, which is why I took the time to include this. Because if you can't express, you know, what exactly is it that you do for people, then it's going to really inhibit your ability to succeed. So, uh, so Jeffrey, uh, who do you help professionally? Let's box this in a little bit. Sure. So internally in our company, we really have two personas that we talk about primarily. There are some others in the background, but we, we have a call our GP Gary, and that's going to be that professional who's been doing it for a long time, knows what they're doing. And then there's the acquisition analyst who's kind of getting their feet wet, trying to trying to uh, figure it all out. So the acquisition analyst is a little harder to help in many ways because they need a little more handholding sometimes. We definitely do have a lot of technology that will be helpful as they get closer, you know, as they transition into that stage from, from Alice to the Gary. But for the most, but today the Gary's is a big player. Um, we're out there. We have really three different, you know, three different things we offer as part of our membership. First thing's membership is five thousand dollars annually, which is obviously not a tremendous amount of money. But with you know, when we talk about what it is that we offer, I think that that it just becomes even even less. There are really three parts, a number of sub parts, but really three parts to what it is that we offer. Um, the first, first and foremost, we have what we call our whispered updated listings with alerts. Number two, we have we have the relationships with 3000 plus lenders. Those lenders, um, obviously each lender has a box, how they, you know, how they do their underwriting, what's good for them, what's bad for them, how much, you know, how they're going to offer rates based on those things and the relationships that we have help us help you find the right lender for your needs. And we're, you know, if you talk to a regular broker and say, Hey broker, I don't want to use you. Just give me the information so I can do it myself. They're going to look, do exactly what you just did. They're going to laugh at you and say, get out of here. Well, yeah, take a hike. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, well, that's actually what we're, where our specialty is. We we won't tell you to go take a hike. I'd rather give you the information that's included in your membership, and then let you do the deal yourself. Save yourself a lot of time because you don't have to just guess where you're going, and save yourself a lot of money because you're not paying you're not paying a broker. You mm -hmm. know, if mm -hmm. if you want to do a little bit less of the legwork, we'll get you a couple term sheets in your hands. We'll call those we'll call you those those lenders that we would have recommended you going to. 
We'll start the process. We'll get your term sheets in your hands. That's a four thousand dollars service per deal. Um, or if you really, if you want, you know, you don't want to do the work. But again, a standard broker is going to charge you somewhere between a quarter of a point and a point. We're going to do that at a flat rate. It's eleven thousand dollars per deal. We're getting we're helping you raise debt, helping you raise, right, with your debt or raising equity. It's eleven thousand dollars there. Period. So mm-hmm. that's you know on a, on a multi million dollar deal, that's a fraction of what you're going to be of of that point that you'd be paying somebody else. And then mm-hmm. finally, I think the piece de resistance, as they say in French, is is that we take all the information that we're talking about now, we add the broker information, we add sales comps, we add finance comps, we have it overlaid on a Google Map with Street View, which is frequently which you're gonna you're gonna frequently go to Google Maps to look at a property anyways. It's all there. It's all overlaid on a, on, a, on a Google map. So you can see it all in one place. We're also adding public data, you know, rent, rent and taxes. We're adding, we're adding that. Mm-hmm. Um, we're pretty soon. We're also adding where you can kind of put in your own notes. You're looking at a property or you own a property. You want to keep your notes rather than having it in a drop box with a vial one to three main street or whatever it might be. It's just going to be over. It's just going to be there where you can click on it right next to the property. So you can compare all your notes from different properties side by side. But you know, we didn't, let, I just want to circle back to that first piece, the, the alerts piece the and the updates piece. We have kind of ears on the ground, so to speak. That's what we call our whispered updated listings. Everybody knows when something's being offered, the price that they're offering is kind of a wish list, a dream price. Mm-hmm. So we have people on the ground actively trying to discern what's the real price. And our listing, our listings reflect that because we work for the GP. We don't work for the seller. We don't work for the broker. So it's not in our best interest to, to give you that upcharge price. We want you, we want you to be able to find the deal in, 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 you know, the real deal. And the other thing we've done to help further that is we just released our new credits program where we're incentivizing GPs, we're incentivizing sellers, we're incentivizing people to give us the actual information. Mm -hmm. We update our information. When we get information from you on the ground, we're going to update our, we're going to validate it however we can we're going to update it based on the validated things and we're going to comp you towards your next year's membership so we want that information it's crowdsourcing and we're going to we're going to incentivize you to help us with that mm-hmm. the other thing we the other piece of this which is unique to us is we have we have our listing updates uh, our listing alerts i'm sorry where if you're looking at a property let's say they're asking 1.5 your magic number is 1.2 shoot us an email soon it's going to be even easy, more easy than that at 1.2 you'll get an automatic email when that listing's changed the other thing is many investors are looking for things in similar properties in the same general area. So let us know what the areas you're looking for and we'll send you an alert whenever automatically we'll set it up to you'll get automatically an alert when something changes in that area. So you can know before anybody else. So you're basically getting the off market advantage on even on on market properties. Yeah. That, wow. That really does sound uh, disruptive. That's, that's quite, uh, that's quite the offering. So, but my next question though, I want to frame it in a little bit as far as what the motivation is. The, the next question has to do with who do you wish you could help more? And the inspiration for that is because I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm from the internet. And so that means that, uh, everywhere I end up moving, I hear people saying, Oh, make sure you shop local, support your local economy. And that's very, very important but if you are from the internet then you know there's a hard limit to who you can end up choosing so it hit me as if if I know the secondary benefactors of choosing a particular professional then we can make better decisions with how we make our dollars make more impact so that's why I like to ask my guests this question so uh, Jeffrey it could be anything you know like like some people I mentioned they have like orphanages or something like that some people they just don't get enough time with their family but uh, but who do you wish that uh, you could help more professionally or otherwise like what's who's who's the top of your list well, I mean, certainly professional, certainly otherwise, you know, my family is obviously a big part of why I do what I do. Um, you know, I, like I said, I started in a completely different industry. I left that industry, which I love um, because I wanted to be able to be put food on the table and still be able to spend time with them and not have, you know, random hours where, you know, I used to say to people in food service that um, if you want to be off, that's when I'm working harder. Mm-hmm. And- mm-hmm that just kind of got to a point where we wanted it to change. So that's, that's where, you know, personally, that's who I want to help. But, uh, you know, when I'm talking professionally in terms of people I want to help anybody who, anybody who can be paying less money, who should be, you know, whether it's a refi or it's a new property or you want to be finding something more efficiently, why not? Why should you, why should you be stuck with kind of living in the old world? That's what the internet is for, mm-hmm. you know, the technology. We, we're watching a world where robots are replacing chefs. What's that all about? It's all about making life easier and making it 
more cost efficient for everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. So my next question then, it's, uh, it's how can people help you? And I like to imagine, you know, me personally, it's Santa Claus, or some people would be the like genie in the lamp or something like that. And uh, if, 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 if people in the audience there can help you out, uh, uh, what are the best ways? I mean, obviously, I think the answer to that question is somewhat obvious. The obvious thing is, is take a look at the membership. Talk to me. I'm happy to go run it through with you, show you, show you all the cool features and, you know, get yourself signed up, save you some money, save men, make me some. I think that's, you know, pretty win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And uh, the best way to reach out, you know, we ended up finding each other through LinkedIn. LinkedIn's a great way to reach me because I got the distinctive last name, makes me easy to find. Also, the QR code here that has the FAQ page for 506BME so you can understand how that uh, compliance services uh, on demand uh, ends up working. But uh, but how about you, Jeffrey? What are the, what are the best ways to reach out? So obviously the easiest is probably my phone. My phone. I'm not available on Saturday. Obviously, I'm, I'm an observer of the Jews. So Saturday, mm -hmm. I'm off. Um, I do work pretty late Friday afternoon as much as I can, and um, Saturday evening, I'm happy to take a phone call. Sunday, I'm pretty free. Uh, my number is nine one four two eight eight sixty two twenty nine. One more mm -hmm. time. That's nine one four two eight eight six two two nine. I do take so I take calls and texts on that number. You can feel free to shoot me a text, or if it's easier for you, email is cool too. It's J Pollock. That's J P O L L A C K at gparency dot com. Again, that's J Pollock. J P O L L A C K at gparency. That's short for GP Transparency dot com. And then you know I'm on LinkedIn as well. I'm pretty pretty accessible. I you know like most of us, unfortunately, we live on our phones. So uh, feel free to reach out however it is. The other thing I'll tell my, I'll tell your listeners today, I don't know, I hope I'm allowed to do this. Um, anybody who signs by, you know, by the end of the, by the end of the month, I'm happy to extend your membership instead of being, you know, one year, we're going to extend it through the end of December. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get an extra four weeks out of that. The other, other piece of this, which is, you know, um, I don't know. I just lost my train of thought there. So we're gonna <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I can edit it anyway. So, uh, so there's something else as far as uh, a special deal you offered the discount. Yeah, there's a discount. You like the extended uh, membership thing? Uh, and oh yeah. The other thing I wanted to point out was not so much a deal, but our membership is, is for your whole company, for your whole team. It's not you know some of the other some other people might charge you a license per user. Ours is a flat rate. It's for your whole team. It's five thousand a year. You get the great you know you get all three pieces. You get the you know you get the map and you get all the information that's overlaid on it both on the financing and on the um, on the financing and on the finding side. And then you get all those crazy updates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. And the last thing I have is actually not for you, Jeffrey. It's for you in the audience, which is you may have noticed that you might have like uh, migraine-like symptoms, like searing pain in your eyeballs. And if that's the case, it's probably because under my left hand there is a big, ugly red button that says subscribe, and you really should get rid of it because, well, first of all, it's free to get rid of it. All you know, and then you don't have the you know, uh, you, like you don't want that. But the bigger thing the reason why i really am pointing it out is because uh if enough people click on the button then youtube will start to pay for these videos instead of me and and i think you want that for me it's it's you know it's it's just common courtesy but again it's totally sounds free like the how can we help you help us help you Exactly, exactly. And, and and honestly, all it really does is it means that my videos might show up on your list of suggestions, but you can go ahead and ignore those. I just appreciate the fact that you spent this time with me. Just like Jeffrey, I appreciate you spent the time with me. This has been great getting to know you a little bit better. All righty, cool, Dan. Thanks for thanks for reaching out or responding. I'm it's exciting to be able to talk to you. Hopefully, you know, your audience can help me and I can help your audience and you as well, obviously. You know, I imagine you get helped by your audience being helped and certainly certainly we'll be in touch for sure all right thanks